Yo, okay, what's up? How y'all doing? For those who don't know me, my name is Hugh EMC. I'm a Bay Area hip hop legend. Um, made a lot of local hits. You know what I'm saying? It's the game. Keep a bitch broke. Gangstamatic. My poetry. Um, a lot of other collabs with other great hip hop artists such as Mac Dre, Rappin' Fote. Um, you know, salutes out to Hieroglyphs and a lot of other hip hop crews who've uh, paid their way. Um, through this Bay Area hip hop game, um, a proper rest in peace shout out to Coop Nut. You know what I'm saying? As I say, Coop Nut is the Joe Frazier to my Ali. You know, that's my opinion on it, man. But the man most definitely inspired me and brought the best out of me. What I'm talking about today is not just hip hop artists, but all artists' obligation to be socially conscious and especially to artists that belong to um, discriminated, ostracized, or marginalized ethnic groups, such as African Americans. What prompted me to make this, I seen that, this video clip from this dude called himself Young Thug, who apparently, I mean, Young Thug, it, he reminds me of a Prince song. You don't know if he's straight or if he's gay or whatever. And the thing is, I, his lifestyle is not what I'm attacking. His lifestyle has nothing to do with his socially um, consciousness. The thing is, is that he made a comment as if, you know, the things that were going on in Ferguson had nothing to do with him and he had no obligation to address the situation. And in my humble opinion, all artists, artists have power and it's your responsibility to deliver a positive message to your listeners. Um, this is why, if you know a little bit of history, like Nazi Germany, you had a guy named Goebbels. Goebbels was the Minister of Information, if I'm not mistaken. He made movies, he made songs, he made posters. He presented Hitler as this mythological icon because he knew the power of media, music, and images, and he used that to help build the Third Reich. It's the same thing here in America. Right now, America's been dumped down by a lot of the music and television and video games and internet content that's been pushed out there. So when you get this million dollar dummy basically saying that uh, what's going on in Ferguson is, uh, is, is an important, that by inference is saying Trayvon Martin wasn't important. Oscar Grant wasn't important. Kenneth Harden wasn't important. The one black male that's killed every 28 hours. This is a statistic. This is a validated statistic. Every 28 hours, a black male is killed by a police officer or some type of white vigilante. And we're talking about an unarmed, innocent black male. We're not talking about a guy robbing a bank or snatching a purse or selling drugs. We're talking about an innocent person. Um, so these are some things that need to be changed. And when it comes to hip hop, I'm creating what we call a hip hop manifesto. Hopefully soon I'll have this all together and I'm going to do my best. And with your help, we're going to get this to all of the hip hop artists throughout the industry. And we're going to demand that they do socially conscious music. It doesn't have to be the whole album. It doesn't have to be the whole, um, you know, project. But at least one song should be socially conscious. And as my boy Stan Steed says, um, a song telling the truth, you know, Hip hop artists get on there, and you got the girls, you got the drink, they're popping pills, and it seems like everything is all fun. Me, having been a successful hip hop artist, doing shows, going to the studio, that shit is work. It's work just like any other job. It's it's work as if you were a social worker, garbage man, or if you were pushing paper from some type of bureaucratic organization, or if you were driving a bus. It's fucking work. This is why Kanye West collapsed in Australia over exertion. This shit is work. Lil Wayne collapsed, had seizures. Why? This shit is work. Um, we heard about Mariah Carey having her situation collapsing um, due to exertion because show business is work. As they say, what is it, 95% business, 5% show, 
or you know however you like to say it 10% show um, 90% business but it's work but when you got these idiotic um, representatives of the hip-hop culture basically um, turning a blind eye to um, socially um, relevant issues especially something like Ferguson that needs to be screamed on so I'm calling for a boycott on this dude's music you know dude he's a, he's a, he's a weirdo to me any motherfucking way he's not the best rapper you know what I'm saying and if you think he's the best rapper you know I mean man you can come challenge me on a freestyle in a minute man my name's Human MC you can't I'm easy to find I'm from Vilmo you know it's, you ask anybody Quinn Messy Marv you know what I'm saying you can even ask JT the bigger figure they, they tell you how to find me so if you, you know, you feel that confident about your skills, but really, I'm really not trying to attack you, I'm trying to educate you, so you can take this the way that you want to, you know, and for all these other rappers out there, you know, it's time for you to start putting some socially conscious um, content into your music, and before I end, I'll say you like, I'll tell you like this, anybody ask you about my particular genre of hip-hop, I'm like I'm, I'm basically a gangster rapper. I'm a street rapper. I rap shit from the street. I call my I call my philosophy the gangster scientist philosophy because just as I'm asking all of you to do, I long put conscious content within my music. You know, one song might be gangstermatic. On the flip side, it'll be something like my poetry dropping knowledge. You know, and so this, you know this is the whole um, idea. You know. Uh, Music is a teaching tool, and we as an oppressed people, and, I'm, and technically I'm speaking about black and brown people, specifically black people, my people, you know, and it's not a prejudicial thing, black people technically are my extended family, and if my family's fucked up, I can't help you do shit, because I, cause my family's fucked up, I need to take care of myself first, then I, need to take, then I need to take care of my family, and then from there, you know, we can help everybody else, you know, but right now our family is fucked up, and with these dumb idiot rappers running around here with all this money, you know, talking about I'm leaned out, I'm iced out, and that's all I'm fucking caring, caring about, man, this shit pisses me off, man. You know, somebody needs to stick a gun to their head and rob their bitch ass, man. You know, strip them naked, walk them down the street, man, old school style. Show them how it is to, um, you know, remind them how it is to be broke. Because most of them were born broke. And they, you know, they get money and don't know how to act, you know. So, in ending, this is a precursor to the Hip Hop Manifesto. You're going to be seeing more of this later, you know. Um, but this is my plea to all artists, underground major artists, backpack rappers, you know, um, who I gotta tip my hat to a lot of conscious and backpack rappers, they've been putting positive stuff out there, but for you mainstream artists, I can't even call it gangster rap no more, because it really ain't gangster rap, it's, oh man, it's some strange hybrid, you know, some fruity blend or something that's really, um, you know, um, twisting the minds of our youth, so we need to put some conscious content out there, you know. Um, again, this is Huey MC. I also have a YouTube page called the Hugh Cypher page where I get more in depth with history, culture, um, you know, genetics, that all type of thing, you know, um, and that's probably some more heady content over there. So if you choose to build on that level, hit me up at the Hugh Cypher, H-U-G-H-C-I-P-H-E-R, YouTube page. Um, if you love my hip hop, you want to keep following me um, for my new music, which um, I got a lot of new stuff coming. Go out there and get the Bay Area Originators Double LP. It's on iTunes. It's dope. And um, like I say, it's gangster stuff up on there. It's street stuff up on there. And it's most definitely some conscious stuff up on there. Shouts out to Wise Proof, to Wise Proof, um, T Cash for putting it down for me. You know, Shalom, Assalamu Alaikum. Hotel Peace, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter, I'll holler back.